Good morning and welcome to morning prayer for Thursday of the first week of Advent. December 1st, 2022, and I am Deacon Dennis Holly from Sacred Heart Catholic Church in Richmond, Virginia. Before we begin, let us take a moment to recognize that we are in God's presence. Let us begin as we begin all our prayers in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Awake, liar and harp. With praise, let us wake the dawn. Our first psalm is Psalm 57, entitled, Morning prayer and affliction. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongues a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp, I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples, among the nations, I will praise you, for your love reaches to the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, send your mercy and your truth to rescue us from the snares of the devil, and we will praise you among the peoples and proclaim you to the nations, happy to be known as companions of your Son. Awake, lyre, and harp, with praise let us wake the dawn. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Our canticle this morning is taken from Jeremiah, entitled, The Happiness of a People Who Have Been Redeemed. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant coasts, and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob, he shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings, the grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen. They themselves shall be like watered gardens, never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Our second psalm is Psalm 48, entitled, Thanksgiving for the People's Deliverance. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city. God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself its stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once, they were astounded. Dismay, they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind, you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. <clears throat> Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. 
Walk through Zion, walk all around it, count the number of its towers, review all its ramparts, examine its castles, that you may tell the next generation that such is our God, our God forever and always. It is he who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Father, the body of your risen Son is the temple not made by human hands and the defending wall of the new Jerusalem. May this holy city, built of living stones, shine with spiritual radiance and witness to your greatness in the sight of all nations. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. Our reading this morning is taken from the prophet Isaiah. Let justice ascend, O heavens, like dew from above. Like gentle rain, let the skies drop it down. Let the earth open and salvation bud forth. Let just, justice also spring up. Blessed among us today is St. Charles de Foucauld, desert hermit who was born in 1858 and died in 1916. Born as a French aristocrat, Charles de Foucauld spent his early years as a party-loving playboy and military officer before undergoing an astonishing conversion at the age of 28. Quote, as soon as I believed that there was a God, end quote, he wrote, quote, I understood that I could not do anything other than live for him, end quote. While on pilgrimage to the Holy Land, he was struck by the, the thought that the Son of God had spent most of his life as a poor carpenter in Nazareth. This insight inspired the theme of his vocation, to imitate the hidden life of Jesus by living among the poor in a spirit of service and solidarity. After moving to Algeria, Charles tried to enact his dream of a new type of contemplative religious life. With his death at the hands of Tuareg rebels on December 1st, 1916, his mission appeared to be a failure. Yet in time, he would be regarded as one of the most influential spiritual figures of the 20th century. In his encyclical Fratelli Tutti, Pope Francis cited Charles as a modern model of fraternity and solidarity. He wanted to be, in the end, the universal brother, yet only by identifying with the least did he come at last to be the brother of all. May God inspire that dream in all of us. Brother Charles was canonized in 2022. This is a quote from St. Charles. Father, I abandon myself in your hands. Do with me what you will. I am ready for all. I accept all. Let only your will be done in me and in all your creatures. Our responsory, your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. You will see his glory within you. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Your light will come, Jerusalem. The Lord will dawn on you in radiant beauty. Our Canticle of Zechariah. I shall wait for my Lord and Savior and point him out when he is near. Hallelujah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born in the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you'll go before the Lord to repair his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I shall wait for my Lord and Savior and point him out when he is near. Alleluia. Our intercessions. Christ is the wisdom and power of God, and his delight is to be with the children of men. With confidence, let us pray, draw near to us, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, you have called us to your glorious kingdom. Make us walk worthily, pleasing God in all we do. Draw near to us, Lord. 
You who stand unknown among us, reveal yourself to men and women. You are nearer to us than we to ourselves. Strengthen our faith and our hope of salvation. Draw near to us, Lord. You are the source of holiness. Keep us holy and without sin now until the day of your coming. Draw near to us, Lord. Gracious God, through Jesus, you show us the path of life. Draw near to us, Lord. You secure our destiny, give peace and security to Ukraine, and prosper efforts to establish global peace. Draw near to us, Lord. You counsel our hearts, inspire religious communities and congregations as they seek to serve Christ in the world. Draw near to us, Lord. You promise the fullness of joy. Give gladness of heart to those who follow you in the single vocation. Draw near to us, Lord. For a swift end to the COVID-19 pandemic that afflicts our world, that our God and Father will heal the sick, strengthen those who care for them, and help us to persevere in faith. Draw near to us, Lord, for Sacred Heart Catholic Church, for our priests, deacons, parish ministers, parish staff, for Sacred Heart Center, for all those who donate their time, talent, and treasure to our parish, but especially for all of our parishioners and those of our parishioners who may either be ill or have passed away. Draw near to us, Lord. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us, us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, we need your help. Free us from, this, of, from sin and bring us to life. Support us by your power. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. May the praise of God be always on our lips and in our hearts through Jesus, the wisdom of God. Amen. And may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Have a blessed day. Please continue to take care of yourself and each other, and may God be praised.